Hey Aplea, have you ever been put on the spot and asked the question either online or in person, do you like me, and you didn't know what to say? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to respond, step by step, so stay tuned. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So if you wanna learn and grow, hit the subscribe button and make sure to click on the notification bell. Being caught off guard with a question like this is always scary, no matter how close you are with that person, because there's always the chance that once you reveal your feelings, they're gonna reject you. So you might find yourself stumbling and giving a half answer like, well, yeah, I mean, I kinda of think you're cool, but you know, if you don't like me, that's okay, but maybe if you you do like me then there's a chance but I don't really know what do you think if you want to avoid something like that from happening let's take it back a few steps and really start at how you're interacting with them to begin with every single time you talk to your crush do you joke with them do you flirt with them do you work on building that romantic chemistry or are you just working on the friendship portion just being cool being kind not really stepping out of your grounds and just kind of letting that crush do all the work in terms of building anything with you a lot of times before feelings are even out there you might be struggling to figure out where you stand with them are you guys just close friends are you working towards something more if things aren't clear and defined for you then of course when they ask that question you're not going to know how to respond in your mind you might be thinking well yeah we talk every single day she looks at me sometimes she smiles she playfully punches me on the arm so that's obviously working towards something romantic right honestly i don't know this is something i get asked a lot you'll tell me about the different signs you feel like you're receiving from your crush and you'll want to know if that's a clear indicator that they like you but my answer is always the same. You won't really know until you ask them out, until you pursue them on that level. Before you even get to the point where feelings are out there, you should be asking that person to hang out, whether in a group setting, one-on-one. -on -one. The point is you want to spend time with them to really get to know with them, to build that bond, because that's how you're going to see if the two of you connect as well as you want to. And you might also be thinking, why are they asking me this? Are they asking me if I have feelings for them because they have feelings for me? What's the power play here? Sometimes there is none. Your crush might be reading signs just like you are. The little looks you give them, every time you smile, every time you approach them to start a conversation, that may lead them to think, does this person like me? And they just may be more confident enough to just straight up ask you. Personally, I don't think it's a very productive question to ask, whether you're asking it or someone's asking you, because it creates a yes or no type of scenario. Do you like me? Yes, I do. No, I don't. It doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room for you to figure out what your feelings are in that moment. Feelings are not an on and off switch. They're gradual. They take time to build. So as you get to know a person better, your feelings may intensify. So asking them at some random point in the middle, do you like me, might be the wrong question to start with. But we're talking about when you get asked, when someone walks up to you and says, hey, do you have a crush on me? Here's what you should say. I think you're a pretty cool person and I really wanna to get to know you better. So what are you doing this Friday or this Saturday? Let's hang out, let's spend time together and see where it goes from there. In that statement, you've done a few different things. You've led them on a path of a yes answer, letting them know that you're interested in getting to know them better. You wanna build something there, which means that you may eventually have feelings for them as you get to know them better. And second, you've created a bridge for your answer towards actively hanging out with them, making plans with them one-on-one. -on -one. That way, if it is a yes answer, you've segued perfectly Perfectly into the next step, which is spending more time together. Now look, feel free to change around the words based on your personality. You may be the kind of person to be a little bit more forward and say, yeah, I like you, so what are you doing on Friday? Let's hang out. Or you might be a little bit more shy and timid and say, I'm not really sure yet, but I do wanna to get to know you better. So how about we hang out? The point here is express some level of interest and set up some type of plan. But whatever you do, don't tell them no. Don't lead them on a path thinking that you don't like them at all because it's gonna be so much harder to recover from that when you do wanna ask them out, when you do wanna act on your feelings. So just don't do it. I know the situation's scary, but trust me, this is the perfect opportunity for you to actually take a step forward. A lot of times people hold themselves back from even getting to this stage where they have to act on their feelings. If your crush is putting you up to it and asking you, do you like me? This is your chance to stand up, be confident, and go for it. What do you think though? Given where you are in life, if your crush asked you whether or not you like them, how would you honestly respond? Leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it. The learning doesn't end there though. I've put together a playlist on dating tips for beginners so that when you are ready to start hanging out with your crush, you know exactly what to do. So check that out and also check out my 20 icebreakers conversation starters guide which is going to give you different things to talk to them about it's a free guide i've put together for you to download the link is right above that playlist check those resources out guys and i will catch you next time as always love
and peace.